Hello and welcome to today's Tech Tip. Today we're going to be talking about editing the points of a cylinder or basically any feature that has uh, multiple levels of measurements. Now what you may know already is that you can use the left hand shift key on your keyboard to modify the cylinder a little bit. For example, I can hold the shift key down click on the normal and I can move the entire measurement up or down the uh, the axis of the, the cylinder. I can also hold the shift key down and click on one of the individual points and move its location uh, around that cylinder. Now what you may not know is that you can use the right hand shift key and that will do other different things. For example, we can hold down the right hand shift key and let's say on the top level here I want to move it uh, I'm just gonna click on the yellow I'm gonna hold the right shift key down and click on the yellow tie line between the measurements and you'll notice it only move it doesn't move the entire measurement it just moves that particular level so I can move that level up and I can hold the shift key down again click the yellow tie line between the measurements you know I can move that other level around also now, you saw with using the left hand shift key where we could move a feature point uh, around the, uh, the cylinder perimeter. We can do the same thing with the right hand shift key. But if I click on a feature and then drop it off, we'll click again. Notice the other level, the same measurement on the other level went along with it. So the right, that's what the right hand shift key can do. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.